Hi guys. Um, trying to get the camera propped up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to prop it up. I may just have to hold it. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. I love checking in with you guys, just talking, which is something I wanna do more. I love making you all laugh, but what truly matters is what you leave people with. I wanna be remembered for really impacting people, not just making people laugh. A lot of the stuff you guys go through, or a lot of the stuff you guys are dealing with, I've, I've dealt with, or I'm dealing with and I am get to deal with it with you guys, you know? This is such a friendship. It's a family, you know? And I love you guys, and I feel such a responsibility towards you guys, you know? I wanna make sure I lead you guys down the correct path and the correct direction, and that's why I wanna be as open as possible. And sometimes that's hard, you know? Sometimes it's hard putting everything you feel out on the internet, but I'm super open, you know? If I'm having a bad day, I let you guys know. If I feel a certain way, I tell you guys. I think it's very important because the internet, it's fake. Right now, I'm charging my car. I need to go plug it in, actually. Plug that bad boy in. So, since I'm just sitting here charging my car, I thought it's a perfect time just to sit down and talk with you guys. I'm alone. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but I guess I wasn't ready to be that vulnerable. Like I said, I'm so open, but this one was hard for me. And like, I know there's a ton of worse stuff going on in the world, and there's a ton of things that people go through that are a lot harder than this, but to any of you kids out there that have a had acne before, you probably know how bad it is and how much it sucks to wake up every day and you look in the mirror and you hate what you see and you're disgusted by yourself and you don't go out or you don't see friends or you, you aren't as confident or you feel like you can't do things. It literally chains you down, like it, it holds you back and you feel like you could do so much more if it wasn't on your face. So. Obviously, my skin's really good now. Very, very happy. Was not an easy road. Um, but I kind of never wanted to speak on it until it was gone. And I regret that now. I wish I kind of talked about it in the moment because I feel like it's just best. But you know, everything happens for a reason and you learn from it and here we are now. And I'm talking about it now, so that's all that matters. I got acne like at the end of high school. I would say around the time I started YouTube, but I did not care. Like I was so confident. I'm a very confident person. And I was just like, oh, I rock it, whatever. It looks good. Like I'm a teenager and, and I never let it stop me. And I, I really thought it was awesome because it was a way to like show people that you don't have to care about your looks. You don't have to be this perfect, sexy human to blow up or get famous or whatever. And I just viewed it as an opportunity to help people and I was focused on other things. I wasn't focused on how I looked. I was always trying to better myself still. Like, you know, I put cream on every night and like nothing was working and then I found this one thing Lucas gave me and it, and it helped. Um, and then it, it went away and I was like, sweet. And, I, and it looked great. And like, I remember like people started making TikTok edits, like those thirst trap edits of me. And I just felt really, really good, but it never really went away. Like it was always there and I was always hyper-focused on it and I never really was free of it, you know, because I was so worried about it coming back and like I would get flare-ups and stuff. I'm I'm a very hyper-focused person. I think that's why I was able to do YouTube is because I was like, all right, I'm going to make it on YouTube. And when I set my mind on something, you can't tell me otherwise. So then when it came back, I was like fixated on it. Like I was like, this is disgusting. I hated it. For the first time in my life, I felt super insecure. I never really dealt with that before. I couldn't stand the sight of myself. I beat it already. I didn't, I, I felt like, why is this coming back? I was older, I wasn't a teenager anymore. I'm like, why? And I felt ugly, I felt horrible. Like I would wake up and like, see, all right, where's my new breakout? Like, what is it now? And I wouldn't travel, cause I was paranoid of like, not being home or not being able to take care of myself. I became obsessed of like going and getting extractions. Like I would overdo it. I think that's part of my obsessiveness. I get hyper focused on things. It's a superpower, but also a curse. In the past when I've gone through breakups, then I obsess over it. And like, that's all I think about and I can't do anything else. But then, you know, if I think about blowing up or getting a girl back or whatever it is, like I, I give it my all. And like, I think that's, you see it every day. Like that's why I'm so passionate about my movies or whatever. When I care about something, I obsess over it and that can go positive or negative. Now looking at some of the pictures, like I can't even tell, like, but in the moment it, it seemed like so much. It's just, it's a bad state of mind. I feel like the reason why I didn't care back then is because I didn't even pay attention to it. Once you start fixated on it, you see it. I didn't want to do Accutane. I hate any type of medication or drugs. That's just who I am. I don't like it. They did this thing called PDT, I think, where they like put you under this hot ass shit. The max amount you could do it is 20 minutes, but like most people can't make it past like five or 10. And I stayed under that bitch for the full 20 minutes. It was like Anakin getting burnt. Like it was just 
heat fire it's the most painful thing ever and it was supposed to like i don't even know what the fuck it's supposed to do something about the oil glands like stop oil glands i don't know and like i wasn't allowed to be in sunlight for two weeks or some bullshit and it was so painful i had to sleep with a fan by my face and, like my whole face started crust up and like become disgusting and like, i never put it out there i don't care anymore now that i'm out of it i guess but like in the moment i was like so embarrassed and I hated it because like I was talking to a new girl at the time. Then I was like, wow, I went through that. I would never do that again, but hey, now it's gone. And then the acne came back and it just felt like it would never truly go away. It felt like I was in prison to this and I would never be able to be fully confident. And I would always be hating myself and always feel like I'm restricted because I it slowed down filming. I knew it was stopping me. And I hated that because I never let anything stop me. And it's stupid, right? People that have never had acne probably don't understand. They're probably like, oh, wash your face. You don't understand how much I did. Like I would try everything. And I, I took so much better care of my face than any of my friends, but they were all chilling. It's just, you can't do anything about it. It's just genetics, it's just the way it is. Or people are just gonna think, oh, it's stupid, why do you care? Like, you don't know it unless you're in it, it sucks. And at this point I was like, all right, fuck it. The last thing I have is Accutane. And they promised me I'd be okay, because I, I just hate drugs. I hate, uh, even obviously it's not like a drug drug, but you know what I mean? Like I hate medication in general, but they promised me you're good. And I was good mentally, like it was fine, everything. But, oh my God, they told me like I'd start seeing results soon. Fuck no, dude, it made my face so bad and I hated it. It got so bad and I was slowing down on filming so much and, uh, and that just made me feel worse because this is what makes me happy. Like making videos is what makes me happy, but I, I would not do it like that. And I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't, but life is all about learning. And you know, if I got acne tomorrow, I would not stop. I would not let it stop me at all but I did. I flipped my sleep schedule and like my sleep schedule is always messed up, but like I, I literally would not go out during the day because I thought that the sun would make me sweat. Like it's just stupid, it's stupid, but I was so wrapped up in it. And at the time I was like also chasing girls, which didn't help. And Accutane was rough, like it would dry you out and like my face got swollen. Like people would comment like Balan's getting fat and my lips would get all fucked up from it. And I don't know, dude, it was painful. But I just kept hoping like this will work, but it wasn't, it wasn't fucking working. And like, I would wear this like sunscreen that was tinted. So maybe it would mask it a little bit. Like just shit that I would never, shit that I hated, dude. Like that's not me. I own my shit. I own, like, I don't give a fuck if I'm skinny. I'm never being afraid to take off my shirt. I'm never like, I was just so, so, so in my head about it. I was insecure as shit. I was so done with it. It was like years of this now. This is like four years of having bad acne come out. You think you're good, it comes back, blah, blah, blah. And then on top of that, I have to watch it. I feel like if I wasn't on camera all the time, it wouldn't have affected me so much, but I see it in HD. Like you see every fucking thing on my face, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, boom, look, I got a pimple. But like, imagine 400 of them. You see that all so much when you're HD. Then I would go get treatments where they like, laser my face my whole face would be red and then i got to go out and people ask me for pictures and like i just felt bad and they probably didn't even notice you know but like i hated it dude and and i felt like accutane wasn't working and i would go in and i would get laser and it was painful as shit i remember i'd be crying and shit like i would come out of there not crying because of it hurt like i have high pain tolerance it's not regular pain isn't really what hurts it's that mental pain that fucking sucks dude and i would just my mind was like, this is not gonna end. And I felt so frustrated because then I felt like I couldn't do my all with YouTube. It's about not moving forward, you know? Like, I feel like as much as I did everything to get rid of it, I can't express how much money I've spent, how much time, as I could do anything in the world. And I could spend a million dollars, I could do anything, and it would not fix it. So I just felt stuck. I felt like I couldn't move forward. I wish I kind of was just open about it because you guys would have motivated me to just keep filming and not care. It honestly would have been cool because you guys could have seen the journey. But I would hide it, dude. Like, I would film far away. I would get these treatments done, and then my face would be good for, like, four days. I don't know how. Like, maybe just because it made me so red that it all kind of blend in. So then I would film. You know, it just slowed everything down, which just adds to you feeling shittier. And then it started to clear up. I was putting this new stuff on it. Accutane kicked in, and, like, you know, I was told that maybe it'll kick in in, like, a month or something. It took, like, six months. And I started feeling really good, but I always felt guilty for not keeping you guys along with the journey because it can help a lot of people. And just know that like I accomplished all I did with it. And then I let it fuck me up after I had already seen that you can accomplish things with acne. So if I could go back in time, when it came back, 
I wish I just didn't care. I obviously better myself and obviously do things to get my skin better, but I wish I didn't slow me down and I was so hard on myself. Like, if I saw someone with acne, I would never be like, ew, what a fucking loser. I wouldn't at all. And that wouldn't stop me from liking that person or anything. So don't let it affect you. Not just acne, anything in life. Don't let something slow you down like that. You know, and that's what's so weird is like I would preach it. Like I would preach like, hey, it doesn't matter. Love yourself because I really, really meant it. But I needed to take my own advice during that era. But now all I can do is move forward and let you guys not be able to make the same mistakes, you know? Like imagine if I did care from day one, I wouldn't have blown up because I wouldn't have been filming. I'm so glad I didn't care back then. And that is the best mindset you can have. Everyone's got something. Everyone has something. For me, it was being skinny or being ADHD or whatever, but I owned it and I loved myself. So like... Just do that. It's such a better way to live. You're never gonna be, you can't be perfect, dude. I feel like the people that own themselves and just do them are actually the coolest because you're just gonna go down a rabbit hole of shit if you start trying to fix every little thing about you and compare yourself or whatever. You're you, love yourself. Always better yourself, like I said. I was always working on it. And look, it went away, like, Everything works out in the end. Sometimes I even see TikToks of me with acne and the girls are in the comments saying like, why does acne Loki look good? Why does he, like, you know what I mean? Like, nothing matters, dude. It's just the confidence. Like, just really teach yourself it. There's been other shit too, um, but the focus of this is acne and stuff. But I want to just, in general, talk more about struggles and whatever. But I'm really loving myself and feel like I'm going in a super positive direction and I feel good about everything. I love you guys. We'll talk soon. Next video will be soon. Um, thanks. Hello fans.